Last year, Elegoo teased us with a sneak peek at their first fully enclosed Core XY printer, the Centauri Carbon. I've been using this machine in the shop here for a couple weeks, and it's time I share my thoughts. Right now, the price is unknown, but Elegoo should release that later on this month when pre-orders start. I'm really hoping they can hit the sub $500 price point on this machine. The build area here is 256 millimeters on the X, Y, and Z axis. It has an all metal hot end capable of temperatures up to 320 degrees Celsius and a heat bed rated to hit up to 110. Perfect for exotic materials like ASA and nylon. The double-sided removable PEI coated spring steel bed boasts a textured side for printing materials that tend to adhere to the PEI coating like ABS and PETG, and a smooth side dedicated to PLA printing. There's a standard blower fan for part cooling and an auxiliary part cooling fan to aid in high speed printing. There's also a chamber fan equipped with a filter to help regulate the chamber temperature while scrubbing some of the odor from any expelled air. Up top here, there's a tempered glass cover and a matching door which uses magnets to achieve a satisfying clunk when shut. The whole unit is a nice matte gray color with Elegoo's sci-fi style branding. The frame is super rigid thanks to its internal metal structure. There's a filament spool holder on the right side, accompanied by a filament runout sensor. Filament is fed up through the filament runout sensor, through a PTFE Bowden tube, through a drag chain, and up to the direct drive extruder. There's a filament cutter in the print head assembly to ensure easy filament switching. This means you don't have to heat up the nozzle to remove filament, which is super handy. This also leaves the door open for a filament changing system should Elegoo decide to enter the multicolor printing game down the road. There's also a purge chute on the back of the unit equipped with a silicone wiper to remove any debris from the nozzle after filament purges. The small touch screen on the front of the unit makes accessing all the machine's features easy, including the host of auto tuning options like resonance calibration, auto bed leveling, and PID tuning. The machine has built-in Wi-Fi connectivity and can be directly linked to your slicer of choice. You can send print jobs directly, monitor prints, and even control the machine remotely through the device panel in your slicer or any web browser on your network. Inside the enclosure, there's a small light and a camera. This can be used for both monitoring your prints as well as capturing some time lapses. It has a good frame rate which is handy for print monitoring, but the time lapses I captured on this machine indicate that the resolution of the camera is 360p. Time lapses are stored on the 8 gigs of internal storage, and to export them you just need to insert a thumb drive and save them. As of now, there doesn't seem to be a way to do this over Wi-Fi, but that'll probably come in a future Slicer update. Elegoo bundles this machine with their new Elegoo Slicer, which is based on Orca Slicer. But most modern Slicers should work, including any fork of Orca Slicer and even Kira. Housed within the bottom platform is a power supply, printer's main board, and a spring-loaded adjustable idler to tension the belt linked to the three Z-axis lead screws. Aside from attaching the spool holder and plugging in the screen, this machine comes fully assembled, and after running the startup calibration, it's ready to print. To test bed leveling, I printed this full first layer with absolutely no tweaks to anything. Perfect first layer without having to slide any paper between the nozzle and bed to set an offset. Mechanical setup and bed leveling are huge failure points for new users, so it's nice that Elegoo has made both these things easier compared to a Cartesian style printer. 
let's move on to print testing. For this, I ran prints in three materials, PLA, TPU, and ASA. All using the supplied material profiles in Elegoo Slicer at the 0.16 millimeter optimal print setting. The only settings I changed in the profile was wall count from two to three, top and bottom layers bumped up by two, and the infill was switched to supportive cubic. This should only affect print times and not quality. First up, a Benchy in Elegoo Matte Gray PLA. With a print time around 40 minutes, I'm very impressed with the quality and even the 3D Benchy plaque on the rear of the boat is legible. Next is my Wild Rose Builds test cube. And with a speedy print time of around one hour, again, I'm super impressed with the detail here. Switching over to TPU, I first printed some gaskets for a project I'm working on before running a Benchy and test cube. Again, the results here are impressive, aside from some stringing, which is probably from my now five-year-old TPU filament, but this can be rectified with a little bit of tuning. Finally, let's move on to ASA. This is one of the first Elegoo printers capable of printing materials like this, thanks to its enclosure. And I couldn't be more excited. I switched from ABS to ASA last year for all my prototyping, and it has noticeably less smell, better surface finish, and it tends to warp less. Surface finish here is perfect, and some of these really small details failed, but that's a pretty challenging part of the model. Included on the USB drive was this print. At first I thought it was a pencil holder, but it's actually a purge bucket that clips onto the back of the machine to catch waste material. There's not a whole lot of waste here, as right now the machine only purges before prints and after filament swaps. Also included on the USB thumb drive is a 15 minute Benchy. And this one looks really good. Again, we can still see the detailed writing on the back of the boat, thanks to the resonance calibration. One more print off the thumb drive here, this bed scraper. The machine ships with a kit to assemble this, and the blade is razor sharp. Perfect for getting right under the edge of your print. Next, I sliced a few models I found online using the Elegoo slicer. There's tons of different filament presets here, and as long as you're matching filament type to an Elegoo equivalent, whether that's PLA+, silk, or matte, or even rapid or speed PLA, the results should be great. I used a handful of off-brand filaments on this machine and they all printed really well. I printed this wool spider in standard PLA at 0.16 millimeter layer height. This took four hours and the detail is awesome. Next, this collapsible katana in the same standard PLA, and this one took under eight hours with a layer height of 0.16 millimeters.
awesome detail on the handle here. Finally, I loaded up this full-size Dr. Doom mask and printed it at a layer height of 0.2 millimeters. I used the auto tree supports in Elegoo Slicer, and in total, this thing took 12 hours to print in an off-brand gray PLA+. I think Elegoo has done a fantastic job with this printer. Not only is it beginner friendly with very little assembly, auto calibration, and a wide array of ready to use material profiles in the Elegoo slicer, it also sounds like it's gonna be budget friendly. And with the ability to print high temperature materials, this could be a valuable tool in your workshop. Special thanks to Elegoo for sending this machine for me to take a look at. Check out the link in the description to learn more about this printer. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.